Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Joy from She Speaks Too. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. So today I am going to the Miss Liberia pageant. It's my first pageant in Liberia, so I'm really excited. Is that my first time? It's not your first time? You've been to a pageant? What's the matter? So at this point, I'm questioning my whole existence as a mother. Sienna is having a meltdown. This will be the first time that my husband and I will be leaving her with someone other than ourselves. Um, she's saying that she wants to go, but my tickets were $175 per person. We can't pay for that for you. And when we got there, there were no children, so she wouldn't have enjoyed herself anyway. But as you can see from my face, I'm questioning if I should stay or if I should go. But at the end of the day, I put my dancing shoes on and mama left. <laughs> So here are the ticket prices. My husband and I received two complimentary platinum tickets for $175. That should have included fish and lemon sauce, green salad, shredded beef, vegetable rice, chocolate cake, water, and soft drink. Then there were VIP super access tickets. Those were $350 per person, and those people were seated at tables around the stage. We were told that the program would begin at eight o'clock. We were there and seated by 8.30. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the night out with me and show you guys what I saw. Then I'm going to give my commentary, my thoughts and opinions at the end of the video. Heading out, we got stuck in a little bit of traffic as you can see, um, but compared to other times, this was not too bad. We finally made it in and let me just say um, this is my first time going to the Bicentennial Pavilion and the place is beautiful. I'm going to have to research more history on the facility, but it was beautiful, beautifully decorated. So the sitting area up there with the tables, that's the Ultra VIP. Those tickets were $350. We sat in the second row on this side here, um, right to the end. Then the waiting game began. So while waiting, um, I decided to just appreciate the beauty of the facility, the venue. Uh, it is beautiful. We were seated next to a beauty queen. This is Ma Miss Eco Tourism Liberia. Beautiful, beautiful young lady. Then of course I had to get my pictures in. Um, I didn't really dress up this year but maybe next year i'll have something soon as you can see there's a lot of excitement a lot of noise but we are still still waiting on the program to start There was a 360 photo booth and I decided to twirl and be gone with the wind fabulous and here I am in all my twirling fabulosity. Magic Came back to my seat and guess what we were doing? We were still waiting for the program to start. Still waiting. At this point, they were still setting up um, things on the stage, like the lights and stuff, and I'm just sitting in amazement because, once again, we are still waiting. Here we see um, someone setting up the wires, um, different things were being done, and at this point, I think we have been there for about two hours. By 10.50, the program um, officially started, and we started off with the national anthem.
For the swimsuit edition this would be the first time in the competition that we were actually getting to see the girls after being there for so many hours um, the swimsuits were beautiful to look at the girls were beautiful their bodies were stunning however the swimsuit bottoms were ill-fitting on some of the girls we were seeing uh, more butt cheeks than we should have seen and I was told by the lady sitting behind me that the girls had just gotten their swimsuits that morning and so they didn't have a T uh, any time to change or um, exchange for better fitting swimsuits so you'll see what I'm talking about as I play the video <laughs>
And here are all the girls. I think the swimsuits did them an injustice. I think they should have had better fitting bottoms and more time to exchange if needed. So this is Teddy Rice singing one of the hottest songs in Liberia right now. If you don't want to be true, find a friend, let me. Find a friend, let me. I don't want a copyright strike on my YouTube channel, so y'all would just have to hear me hum it. Find a friend, let me. If you don't want betrayal, find a friend, let me. At this point, it was time for the girls to showcase their talents. The first girl did highway and road safety. So here are my thoughts about the pageant. Pageant was supposed to start at eight o'clock. Um, we didn't get started until 10.50, almost 11 o'clock. That, in my opinion, is a, a little bit too late to be getting started. When the pageant started, we had been waiting there for almost three hours. I think that it would have been in our best interest to at least start off with a swimsuit competition after we had sang the national anthem. Um, started with a swimsuit competition so we could have at least laid eyes on the girls before we had performer after performer after performer don't get me wrong the performers were very talented i really enjoyed the african liberian culture i enjoyed the culture of dancing i enjoyed the singing i enjoyed the poem i enjoyed all of the performers they were very talented but i had been there since 8 30 and um, you start at 10 50 and then i'm just seeing performer after performer after performer i'm there to see these girls these beautiful women who have been training for this pageant for a long time the second time that we started seeing the girls again was one o'clock in the morning so they had started the talent competition unfortunately i was only able to see Two girls performed the talent. One was which I showed you guys where she did road safety. The other one did um, gender violence and that was it. And we left at 1.30 in the morning. I had only seen the girls two times. I did not get to see them answer questions. I did not get to see them in their ball gowns. I did not get to see them any other time. And that was the sole purpose of me going to this show. I found out later from my cousin that they didn't crown the winner until six o'clock that morning. She said after the pageant was over, it took the judges about an hour to tally up the vote. So they were just sitting and waiting. And then the winner was crowned at six o'clock in the morning. I do understand that this is the first pageant that we've had since 2017. So I'm not expecting perfection and I would still go again to a pageant because I loved the little that I did see. I loved what I saw. I loved the girls. I loved the performers. So I would still go back and I would still give it A for effort, but we definitely have to do better next time. Um, definitely have to make it shorter, make it more um, concise, make it make sure that we tighten loose ends things like that um according um the food menu for the 175 dollar um, menu uh, tickets we were supposed to get um fish and lemon sauce we basically got what the 30 dollar tickets got we got chicken we got rice we got salad we got cake we got soft drink and we got water i have to say some Liberians do like their soft drink and water room temperature. I do like my drinks to be cold, especially if I'm in a crowd and I'm hot, but we did not have the choice. We were just given room temperature water and I did not like that. Um, I was given complimentary tickets, so I can't complain. Complimentary is a big word for free. So I really can't complain, but had I paid the 175 and had gotten the kind of um, service and things that I had gotten, I really, Kind of, I would have been upset because I don't think I would have gotten my money's worth from what I deserve. So I can't complain too much, but I can give my opinion on what needs to change for the next time. So here is your queen um, crowned from River Cest. Her name is Vera Lynn Von Lee. So I'm just gonna show you some pictures of this beautiful queen. Enjoy and here's to a beautiful reign to Miss Liberia. This is Joy from She Speaks 2. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later.